हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विथ एच सी एफ दैट इज हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर यू मैट हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड एच सी एफ इन स्टैंडर्ड फोर वी आर ऑलरेडी फैमिलियर विद टू मेथड्स दैट इज द लिस्टिंग मेथड एंड अदर इज द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड इन स्टैंडर्ड फाइव वी विल लर्न मेनली द टू डिफरेंट मेथड्स दैट आर यूजिंग लॉन्ग डिविजन मेथड एंड द अदर इज यूजिंग प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड earlier children the method that we did as prime factorization method was this one where we factorized both the numbers differently we took out the common pair of factor and we multiplied it in this year we will be calling this method as division method so we are going to do two methods those are long division method and the other is prime factorization method so i'll first explain you how do we do the long division method for your kind information children both the method that we are going to learn this year are most interesting and they are so efficient to get hcf that there won't be any mistake in your calculations so now i will explain you now children i have the numbers 20 and 36 so as you all can see i have to find the hcf of 20 and 36 what i do is i will be keeping the smaller number as the divisor and the bigger number as the dividend i carry out carry forward my division 20 ones are 20 i cannot take twos are because it will give me 40 so i have taken 20 ones are 20 i get the remainder as 16 now this remainder that you get that becomes your next divisor and the previous divisor becomes your next dividend continue the procedure again start dividing 16 ones are 16 when i minus it i get it as 4 so 4 becomes your next divisor and your next dividend will be your previous divisor now again when i divide i get 4 fours are 16 and i get the remainders as 0 once i get the remainder zero that means my sum is over but this time usually for division the quotient is considered to be your answer but here for the long division method of hcf the divisor that is giving you the remainder as zero is your hcf so this was just an example children i'll explain you few more sums from your exercise Okay, children. Now explain you the same division method from my practice time to question number two. Find the HCF using long division method. I will be explaining you the C one, children. The number was two hundred and sixteen and one twenty four. As you all know, I will be taking the smaller number as the divisor and the bigger number as the dividend. Start your division. One twenty four ones I'll have to take because two zero will give me two forty eight. So one zero one twenty four. I get ninety two as the remainder. Now this remainder will be my next divisor, and the previous divisor will be my next dividend. Again, carry out your division. Ninety two ones are ninety two. I get the remainder as thirty two. This thirty two will be my next divisor, and the next dividend will be the previous divisor. Again, carry out your division. Thirty two. Two za will give me sixty four. I cannot take three za because because it will give me a bigger number than ninety two. So thirty two two za sixty four. When I subtract, I get twenty eight. So this twenty eight will be your divisor now, and your dividend will be the previous divisor. So again, carry forward twenty eight one za twenty eight. You need to go on doing this procedure till you get the remainder as zero. So twenty eight one za twenty eight. I get the remainder as four. This four becomes your next divisor, and your dividend will be the previous divisor. Now four seven zero twenty eight. Ultimately, I have got the remainder zero. Again, I would like to tell you, children. Usually, we consider in division that the quotient is the answer, but for a long division method to find HCF, the divisor that is giving me the remainder as zero is your HCF. So here, I have got the HCF as. Four. Okay, children. Now I have taken the same sum from 
my practice time 5 that is the H1 I'll be explaining you the H1 51 and 93 so now the smaller number that is 51 will be the divisor 93 will be the dividend I start my division 51 ones are 51 I get the, rem uh, the remainder as 42 this will be my next divisor and the next dividend will be the previous divisor so I bring 51 down 42 ones are 42 then I get again the remainder as 9 so this will be my divisor my dividend will be the previous divisor that is 42 I get 42 down 9 fours are 36 I get 6 I bring 9 down as the dividend 6 ones are 6 I get 3 as the remainder 3 will be my next divisor and the previous divisor will be the next dividend and finally I get 3 twos are 6 and I get the remainder as 0 so here 3 is the divisor that is giving me the remainder as 0 so HCF is equal to 3